Greetings, fellow Watford fans. Omar here with a Yuan's reaction. It's a reaction to Watford Football Club's press release statement, I guess it was, the release of an abbreviated form of the first Watford FC supporters group meeting that took place on the last day of March of this year. Now, I think that it's very good that the football club has opened up some dialogue. I think that's a plus. I think it's very important. But what I don't like about what's going on is that we're getting abbreviated summaries. We're getting these summaries of a two-hour, what, three-hour meeting. Who knows how long the meeting lasted for? And I just don't think that that is a fair representation and does not give us a full picture of what went on in the meeting. Now, look, I can understand if there are some sensitive financial matters. It's completely understood by yours truly as to why you would not want people to disclose that. I think that's the only real thing that I have. Um, I can side with the club on in terms of confidentiality. But everything else to me is absolutely uh, something that should be considered and should be disclosed to everybody who is of a Watford persuasion. And I know that's going to be a sticking point, but I do think that you need to let fans know of what is going on in these meetings. And what I read in the release that was given out on Tuesday, April the 12th, was really a bunch of bullet points. Now, again, these may have been answers to questions. These may have been questions asked, but it all looks like talking points to me. And that's not something that looks good. I don't think that that gives us a fair picture of what was going on in that meeting. I don't think that listing topics but not expanding on them is a good idea. You mentioned in that release, once you release, you uh, read it, you mentioned, or I should say Watford mentioned, that uh, the ambassador, the Hornets ambassadors were raised. Now, what was it about the Hornets ambassadors were raised? What was it that was raised about that? Now, I've said here before, I've said here in other fora, that Luther Blissett not being a part of that is a disgrace. And there's been no explanation as to why. And you just leave that as a bullet point. Well, Hornet ambassadors were raised. Okay, so what happened there? Watford FC women were raised. Okay, what happened there? Family enclosure and the situation there was raised. But what was the substance? I think this is really a poor thing. This is really poor. And again, it illustrates the old axiom he, she, or they who control the medium control the message. And this underlines and underscores what the problem is. Is that every time there's a communication from Watford Football Club, they completely don't get this right. They completely miss the mark. Every attempt that there is to communicate with fans at least these last couple of weeks especially, it's been really poor. He, she, or they who control the medium control the message. And that's what you're getting out of the club at the minute, and actually for more than a minute, it's been for a long time, is this communication that is either ambivalent or incomplete or summarized. It's just not good enough. I just really do not think that this is working very well. And as I said before, there's fresh ideas that are needed. I am really quite happy to contribute to the supporters club if I am allowed on it. But I, and I've got lots of ideas about a lot of different subjects, a lot of different things, dealing with structure, dealing with so many things that I think need to be heard. And I think if you, fellow Watford fan, as I said in the previous message here on this YouTube channel, if you have ideas and you have some constructive things to say, please get involved in this. Please email that supporters club group at supporters at watfordfc.com, please. Because the more of us that get to speak out, the better. And I think that's where the club have gone right, where they do invite all of us in. But again, my sticking point here, among other things, is you have to be transparent and you have to be open. And yes, it's great that you are allowing people to speak and give their opinions on things and raise some critical questions. But I think the Watford fans need to know, we need to know as a fan base, what is going on. We need to have transparent communication. 
I just don't agree with this top secret stuff, except for the finance situation. You know, I can understand that. Maybe that's an exception, but the rest of it should be open and transparent to all Watford fans. And this is where I think that, again, I talked about he or she or they who control the medium, control the message. This is where I've suggested before that what we should be doing as Watford fans is gathering, gathering together those of us who really care about this and who want to see change, because there's, there's a great many Watford fans who are quite happy with what's going on. They've got no issue with it. You know, they, they say things like, well, you know, it was worse, you know, X amount of years ago as it was, because I remember those days very well and beyond those days. Um, and, and some of the people who express that opinion don't think that there's a need to really do anything. Some people who have expressed that opinion, opinion do feel that there's a need to do something. Well, all I'm saying is, and what I've said many times before in many other fora, including here, is that if you feel that way, we should what we should do as a group of fans is get together with other groups of Watford fans and supporters groups and create our own collective, our own coalition, and bring our concerns to the board. It's not duplicating the work. It's outside, it's outside agitation, if you will, done in a way that's respectful, done in a way that is not anything but peaceful. We want to make this, obviously, all of this will be peaceful and respectful. And I just think that if you need, if you want to get change from an organization, you have to have the outside work and the inside work. And the supporters group is the start, but the conditions upon which it is done shows you that the supporters group, while it has a right to open its mouth and say something, does not have very much leverage at all. And I think the way that it gets greater leverage is if you have Watford fans on the outside with their own group putting pressure on the board. Some of those who may want to do that may go to Vicarage Road and have peaceful protests, silent protests with banners. Norwich City fans did this just a few weeks ago. They had a silent protest. They had their banners in the stands and they didn't say anything. They just had their banners out saying, we want Delia Smith out of the club. What if Watford fans did that? I said this several weeks ago. I said this at least a couple of months ago on the podcast and here. What if Watford fans were to turn up at the Vic with banners, silently protesting, not even saying anything, just having the banners out? I think that if people really want to see some changes at Watford Football Club, those are the kinds of things they're going to have to do because on the balance of what I've seen with these summaries, this summary of this meeting, doesn't tell you anything about what the club's planning to do about these things. Yeah, it just presents answers, but what is the club planning to do? I think from what I'm reading from this summary, the club seems only too happy to just put out a summary of a meeting that obviously didn't last for 10 minutes. It lasted for a good hour or two, I'm sure. And there needs to be greater and more diverse representation on this group of people. One of the reasons why I want to get into the room is because I want my voice to be heard and my concerns to be heard. And the more diverse a group, the more inclusive a group as well, the stronger that group is of supporters and the more Watford fans that get involved. And I mean, sensibly involved, not name calling, not all that nonsense, but the more Watford fans get involved on the outside and make their voices heard through silent protest with banners at the Vic. I'm telling you that is going to help. I think this club now has become way too comfortable just doing the things it wants to do. And it has, quite frankly, in my view, sidelined a lot of the fans. I think that's exactly what's happened. And when you create a supporters group and you have it under your auspices and you tell it to report back to you, and then you put out these summaries 
that are incomplete. You don't have a full transcript, a full transcript of this meeting, which is what you should have, the full minutes of the meeting, which is what you should have. When you have this very controlled, very hush-hush, very fear-based way of responding to fans with very cursory expl explanations, it's not going to get you very far. It's not going to get you very far. If you want change, you are going to have to be very vocal about it. If you want change at your football club, you're going to have to sit down, organize, communicate to the board respectfully, but honestly, and you're going to have to start making noise. And again, I don't mean going to games and disrupting them because I'm against all that kind of nonsense, any of that kind of nonsense. I'm talking about writing up banners and silently protesting. I'm talking about making sure that people see that you aren't happy with what's going on. And more importantly than that, making sure that you've got some constructive criticism and some solutions and some ideas because you've got to have ideas. If you want to be invited to the table, you've got to have sensible, constructive, ideas and criticism and engagement because it's very easy to criticize but what isn't as easy is to come up with the kinds of ideas policies directives advice and all other things that can be put forth to the board to the watford hierarchy and have a constructive dialogue that is what has to happen here but as for these summaries, these summaries are not cutting the mustard here. They are not cutting the mustard. You must, must make these meetings open and transparent. I can understand, once again, the financial things, completely understand. But aside from that, these meetings must be open and you must account for minutes of these meetings. I really think that that is going to go a long way toward bringing a lot of the fan base that feels disaffected back on side. I really think that is one of the answers, to say the very least. Again, I have a lot of ideas, and I know that you do as well. So let's really organize, and let's really have a sensible dialogue with the board and with the people in charge, because I think that that's the only way. You've got a lot of Watford fans who are very unhappy. They've vocalized their views. Now it's time for us to turn that into some constructive engagement and ideas. This has been the Yuan's reaction.